Hey what's up how are you doing welcome back to techy blossom channel till now on this channel i have taught you three times about a custom navigation drawer for your flutter application first time it was collapsible animated sidebar this sidebar may or may not stick to the screen always means it can be off focus like the default material navigation drawer in either case you can alter its visible width with animation by pressing the menu close animated icon in the second video shifting menu and dashboard this is spread across three videos where when you open the menu the dashboard scales down towards right to make space for menu to slide in from left this menu performs multiple animations at the same time for menu and dashboard you also learned to change dashboard based on menu selection and hence close the menu and in the third video sidebar animation and navigation this is very similar to first one except that this will never be hidden and has a handle on top always on click of the handle the menu slides till the end revealing the menu items you can close the menu by tapping handle again so why am i telling you this I want you to visit these videos after this one as to understand the underlying concept when creating a custom drawer. There is one more thing common in these videos. I attempted these designs in Flutter because the original navigation drawer cannot be used here. But you can develop almost any type of design using Flutter SDK. So here is a good example of these three videos. This video is sponsored by App Circle. Build your apps, distribute it to testers and upload it to app stores all automatically with quick and easy setup. You can find one month free coupon code and link in the description box. Enough of talking. Let's get into the new navigation drawer. In this tutorial, I am using Flutter 2.8.1 and Dart 2.15.1. However, for the sake of this video, there are very less chances of anything that is taught here gets deprecated if you watch many years from now by the end of this tutorial you will learn to create this animation on tap of menu icon the sidebar will float in from left with fade in effect the menu icon will animate to close icon then when you press the close icon again the menu will slide back with the fade out effect now let's talk about the solutions In Flutter you always have more than one way to design a certain UI. You analyze and compare the approaches and finalize any one solution that's performant and meant to last for a long time. I will teach you two approaches to achieve this animation. So before starting with any one of them, this is the basic structure of your Flutter sample application where you have a material app. Then you have a infinite app 1 by 0 is the title of your home page. home page is the stateful widget this is same as you got get in your sample application then in the scaffold i have a custom app bar where i have kept elevation as 0 and background color as white and the title is like this um you might be wondering how i have got 1 by 0 in this style so this becomes and this comes from font features where i have given fractions and this is the headline 5 a little bit changed from the default one this is the hierarchy of our application currently Uh, the app bar if you open this the app bar is here as you can see the highlighted section in the and the and below there is a container now that's very very basic structure now what we will do here is we will add menu icon on the left hand side uh, which will be added in the leading section of the app bar and uh, then we will add a drawer so let's start so above title you will put a leading attribute where you will put a um, icon with the list and the color will be black on top of this you will create a function uh, for now let the function be empty and do nothing just reload the application and now you will see there is an app icon uh, there is a leading icon here uh, let me close this flutter inspector so the container will become the dashboard sort of thing which will always be there in the behind and then there will be a menu on the top so first we will wrap this uh, container in a stack we will bring the drawer on the top of this container 
by using one of the pre-created drawer uh, by me. I have uh, created this drawer in uh, this uh, package called building blocks where you can find this in the drawer. It has a line item, it has a button and you can see how it renders out. So it has this predefined some line items and a button. Now we want to bring this uh, drawer a little bit at the uh, center or say 100 uh, points from the top. So we will wrap this in a position widget and uh, we will move the const here and remove the const from p drawer as it won't be needed now. So the drawer has come a little bit at the bottom side. Now we also want this drawer to be a little bit left aligned say 20 and then uh, this is perfectly located at what we what I wanted right now I want this to animate as well so let's use animated position widget and where we can give a duration to this say now you can define a duration at the class level this will be the constant duration that we will be using throughout our animations in this uh, video so it doesn't need it doesn't need const and p draw now needs const so now uh, let me since we have added a animated position let's restart the whole application now if i uh, change this left to zero and reload the application it will animate to the left hand side which means that we want to modify this left value uh, such that um, it animates from some value to uh, from some beginning value to end value okay so let's say minus 300 is <coughs> the starting value so it goes away so this is the initial value and when i make it 20 this becomes my first value right so now we need a variable to decide whether it should be in or out so let's say that variable is is drawer closed and initially it will be closed so let's say the initial value will be is drawer closed as true now take this variable put it as a condition here if it is closed then the position is minus 300 if it is open the condition is 20 okay now when we press the icon we want it to uh, come out from the left hand side so in on menu tab we will just use set state method and we will say that is drawer closed value becomes as not is drawer is closed is drawer closed which means we are toggling the value if it was true before it will become false if it was false before it will become true so let's uh, now again we are playing with animations to better to hot reload the hot restart the whole application now when i press the menu icon the drawer is coming from left hand side and when i close when i click it back it goes on the it goes back right so this is pretty um, good logic right now if you want to add a fade in effect as well right so instead of in, in, you will wrap p drawer another time with animated opacity and this time opacity will animate based on is drawer closed value so if is drawer closed is true the opacity will be zero if it is false it will be one which means that if we want the draw to be closed the opacity will be zero and when we open the draw the opacity becomes one the duration of course will be the same and now uh, again just hot restart the whole application now click on this and you will see it, it animates a little right it animates fades in and fades out if you want to see it in a slower motion let's increase the duration restart the application again click on this and it fades in and fades out right so this is one solution now can you point out what is the drawback of this solution i think you can easily because uh, initially i told you that we want to animate this list icon to close icon right but this is not happening when we do when we use set state why because we don't know what is the value of that animation at what time i mean in this three seconds we want that every time when there is a frame change we want to animate this item right so we have to go for animated controller 
So keeping this example as it is, I will just convert this solution to use animated controller instead of set state and we will get rid of this set state. So for the second option, we don't need set state. However, we will utilize on we will utilize on menu tap method. Now we also don't need animated position because we will be using controller here. We don't need duration for these uh, widgets now. Then uh, we also don't need this variable anymore. However, we, we need this duration. So first things first, to implement animated controller or animation using controller, we will need a single ticker, ticker provider state mixin, which will give us callbacks whenever there is a update in the frame. Okay, so declare a animated controller. Then in the init state method of this uh, of this state class, you need to initialize the controller and give it the duration that we are using throughout this app and throughout this tutorial. Uh, this vsync means whenever there is a frame update, the single ticker, ticker provider state mixin will give will sync with uh, means this controller will sync with those uh, events. Okay. Then in the dispose method. We just need to dispose the controller okay now because we are using controller we need to wrap this scaffold in a animated builder and it it needs the animation which will be our controller then it needs a builder which will take context and a child this child will be our drawer so here you need to make drawer as your child and you need to return a widget from here which will uh, use this child which and this child is the same child as this one okay so use this scaffold totally cut it from here and return it from here now instead of const drawer here you just need to use the child which is passed in this method and as i said this child is same as this child okay you don't need left and opacity values to be coming from that variable instead you will be using controller so for that you need to now define uh, two variables or i would say two animations that would change uh, value uh, depending on the controller so define an animation which will be of double value and let's say this will be uh, defining your left position okay now if you remember from the previous set state solution the two values for left position were minus 300 and 20 so similarly here as well you will be defining a tween which will be a double value which will begin from minus 300 and end on 20 now you can provide a controller to this so that whenever controller runs from 0 to 1 it will change or it will uh, start from minus 300 to 20 when it starts from 0 to 1 for controller so this is the correlation between controller and left position now we just have to tell that we will be defining them late so that compiler does not give us errors now this left position goes for the left position okay dot value correct and for opacity see opacity goes to and fro from 0 and 1 value and our controller also navigates from 0 to 1 value right so we can use controller dot value directly we don't need to again define another animation which starts from 0 or and ends with 1 because controller is the one which is doing the same thing right now um on the menu tab we just need to make sure that we run the controller in the forward direction and in the reverse direction when the animation has completed so if controller is completed it means that controller is now at one position means the value of controller is one which means that the drawer is open so we need to run controller in the reverse direction so that when it goes in reverse direction the left position becomes minus 300 again and the drawer is closed and when it is not completed we need to run the controller in the forward direction which is the default uh, when we want to open the drawer 
when we click on this we want to open the drawer and we want to run it in the forward direction now um, let's hot restart the application click on this and in what is the duration here it's 1000 so in 1000 milliseconds the animation has completed as you can see here now let's increase this keep it 3000 and uh, instead of uh, and the opacity we have done here now let's run the application again let's see whether it fades in or fades out or not so i think yes it it fades out as well okay now we need to change the icon as well i we want to change the menu icon or list icon to a close icon so for that we have let's forget about this let's use animated icon okay in this you want to provide an icon which is a type of animated icon data instead of icon data you will have animated icon data and here you have options like menu to close okay it also requires a progress now this progress again needs 0 to 1 value and controllers benefit is that controller dot view has the same value animation of double so the view is of same type as this progress requires so we can take benefit of that and go with that value so whenever controller runs from 0 to 1 the view value will also change from 0 to 1 and hence the progress will be defined for the animated icon animated icons dot menu close and then you need to give color as well fine so let's now run the application okay because i used animated icon it moved a little bit up right so we need to also wrap this uh, inkwell item with some padding or you can say let's wrap this in a center widget and it will come at its perfect location fine so when i click on this the menu icon converts itself to close icon and when i close and I, when i tap it on back it converts back to the menu icon now one thing more the animation was pretty straightforward it was just easing in easing out right now if you want to use curves as well uh, which you could do with animated position and animated opacity so to bring in the curved animation in the animate instead of controller you can use curved animation and the parent will become controller and the curve can be anything which you can use like bounce out so now if you rerun the application see the animation here it's bounce out and when you close the icon it it goes back in a bouncing fashion right so this is how you can add the curves also to the left position right similarly you can add <clears throat> curves to any other value in that sense okay so in summary we covered two approaches one using set state and other animation controller obviously Using animation controller, you had fine control on animation and you can say that's a solution which is scalable in future. So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share across your circle. I would appreciate that. Also, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to never miss out on new tutorials. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.